Hey guys, John Faulkner here with BDU, and uh, today we're talking about the auto uh, noise barrier uh, electronic hearing protection. Um, these things have been in my bag now for the last six, eight months, and um, I'm really starting to like them. Now, I'll give you a caveat. Auto didn't pay me to make these. Uh, we sell these at Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, I bought them with my own money. Um, and uh, second stipulation, this is the second pair that I had. The first pair, I had a lot of uh, problems with ringing um, and they wouldn't charge in the carrying case. But I, Auto was awesome. Their customer service was fantastic. Sent them back. Uh, they sent me and I've had these for six or eight months and they've been bulletproof. I've uh, not suggested, but I've had them in rain. I mean, we live in Florida, so you're gonna get rained on no matter what. Uh, super sweaty, things like that. And, um, and they've worked really, really well. So what they are is uh, very small, you know, kind of, you can say like AirPod size, um, electronic hearing protection. They have two settings on them and uh, they come with like three or four different tips uh, within the package. So that's really nice. I kind of gravitate towards the foam ones. Um, and, you know, let's talk about the positives, first of all. First of all, they're really small. You know, you don't have to grab any big over the ears. Um, you know, they're small, they're lightweight. I actually keep these in my EDC bag. You know, I travel a lot. I go to manufacturers. If for any reason we're gonna go out and shoot, I know I always have electronic hearing protection, which is just nice to have. You know, you can always put foamies or, you know, like Surefire earplugs or something like that that in, but to have electronic hearing protection uh, when you're communicating with other people is, is really nice to have. So um, so that's why I've, I've used these uh, and that's why they stay in my EDC bag actually. So they're just kind of always with me. Uh, and then you have the, the carrying case, which is kind of cool, kind of like a, a ruggedized case, um, you know, and these just simply pop in. But when they pop in, as you'll see, um, it'll give you your battery indicator of, of where the batteries are. And then above that, you'll see what's left in the onboard battery as far as recharging them. And guys, I have gone all day with these things. Uh, I've used them at you know gun ranges. I've used them at convention centers, just kind of killing some of the noise. Uh, I've used them at a couple of automobile races um, to, to kill the noise also. So they've worked fantastic. Uh, and like I said, I prefer the foams the most. They just fit my ears the best, uh, you know, but you can store extra rubber ones or foam ones, extra sets in the case also, uh, and then tools to clean and work on them. So, you know, it comes in this cool water, uh, waterproof case so you can, you can store them and you don't have to worry about losing them. Um, and they've worked really, really well. Now I'll say, they work great if you're shooting pistols, uh, suppressed rifle like I am shooting right now. If you start talking like big boy rifles, um, they can. You'll wish you had some over ear, a little bit more ear protection. Um, but you know, for for most smaller caliber, 5.56 five, uh, suppressed pistols, they work really, really well. Um, so you know that's. That's what's kind of built into the package. Um, I'll talk about some of the cons, you know. This this case is nice. I wish it was a little bit smaller. Um, you know, we live in the world of wireless uh, headphones like AirPods and Sonys and things like that, and they're a smaller case. I, I, I would love to be able to have a recharging case that I could just easily slip in my pocket. Um, I think that would be amazing, um, you know, but they've built a lot of features in. That's why it's, it's a little bit bigger um, than, you know, than most of those kind of cases. But still, the form factor of this over carrying a pair of, you know, Comtax or Swordens or anything like that. Um, you know, these are definitely more portable. And, um, you know, so that's that's really what, this is what I've been using for the last couple of months and I've, I've enjoyed them. Uh, I like having them with me all the time. Now, do I still like my over the years for some applications? Absolutely. Um, but, you know, I've used these at, at three range days now uh, that I've gone to and I never wish that I had something else with me. So, you know, if you're looking for a smaller, uh, more, easily carryable um, pair of, of, of ears that you can wear to the range. Be sure to check out the uh, the auto noise barriers. I think you really like them. We carry them on BDU. Uh, fantastic price, so you can check them out there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any other comments on the autos, feel free to leave them below. We'll definitely be around to check those comments. Make sure you like this video also. I hope you guys have a fantastic day.